Okay, I'm going to talk about Abe Lincoln Giants quote. All right, somebody shared this video with me, and so instead of showing the video first, I'm going to go to the actual document, I guess, and read it off for you. This is going to be this is about Niagara Falls. All right, so this is going to be maybe five minutes. Okay, so let's read this. Niagara Falls, by what mysterious power is it that millions and millions are drawn from all parts of the world to gaze upon Niagara Falls? There is no mystery about the thing itself. Every effect is just as any intelligent man knowing the causes would anticipate without seeing it. If the water moving onward in a great river reaches a point where there is no p perpendicular jog of a hundred feet in decent in the bottom of the river, in descent, excuse me, in the bottom of the river, it is plain the water will have a violent and continuous plunge at that point. It is also plain that the water, thus plunging, will foam and roar and send up a mist continuously in which last during sunshine there will be perpetual rainbows. The mere physical of Niagara Falls is only this. Yet this is really a very small part of that world's wonder. Its power to excite reflection and emotion is its great charm. The, ge the geologist will demonstrate that the plunge or fall was once at Lake Ontario and has worn its way back to its present position. He will ascertain how fast it is wearing now, and so get a basis for determining how long it has been wearing back from Lake Ontario, and finally demonstrate by it that the world is at least 14,000 years old. Alright, that's error number one. So we know by reading the Bible that it's been roughly... 4,000 years since the flood of Noah, 40, excuse me, 4,400 to 4,500 years, you, give or take 100 years. You can't go much beyond that. All right, there's no possible way that the world is 14,000 years old. It's not possible. The only way to make that work is to say the Bible's not true. A philosopher of a slightly different turn will say Niagara Falls is only the lip of the basin out of which pours all the surplus water which rains down on two or three hundred thousand square miles of the Earth's surface. He will estimate with approximate accuracy that 500,000 tons of water falls with its full weight a distance of 100 feet each minute, thus exerting a force equal to the lifting of the same weight through the same space in the same time, blah 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 blah, and then the further reflection comes that this vast amount of water constantly pouring down is supplied by an equal amount constantly lifted up by the sun and still he says if this much is lifted up for this one space of two or three hundred thousand square miles an equal amount must be lifted up for every other equal space blah 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 and he's overwhelmed in the contemplation of the vast power of the sun is constantly exerting in the quiet noiseless operation of lifting water up to be rained down again. All right, that's fantastic. Good stuff right there. All right, so, but there is more. Oh, it calls up the indefinite part. When Columbus first sought this continent, when Christ suffered on the cross, when Moses led Israel through the Red Sea, Nay, even when Adam first came from the hand of his maker, then as now, Niagara was roaring here. Error number two. All right, first of all, all right, so he's claiming that when 
God formed Adam from the dust of the ground, the Niagara was roaring. That's not true at all. Uh, that totally excludes the flood of during Noah's time. Let's take a look. How close was I already? Uh, and so, and so in Second Peter chapter 3, if you know the context, you're familiar with this, and it says, And saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Isn't that what Abe Lincoln's saying here? If he even said it? That all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. Even when Adam first came from the hand of his maker, then as now, all things continue as they were as they were from the beginning of creation. So he's saying the same thing that Peter's warning us about. For this they are willingly, for this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was, <clears throat> excuse me, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water, perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Alright, so the world that was in the days of Noah before the flood, different. The, the whole earth was different. And the world that is coming after or when our Lord Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven it's going to be different all right I mean we really can't grasp I don't think the world to come nor can we grasp the world that once was but what happened here ah uh, What's the verse I'm looking for here? Well, it must, must be, uh, what is that verse? What is that verse here? I can't think of. So, hold on a second. I know it's 22. Isn't it? Wow. Has this ever happened to you? Can't find a verse? You know it's there somewhere? C. It's C. Not C's. Dummy. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Alright, so the point I wanted to make there is that the world that was before the days of Noah, the earth, was different. And the, and the world that is coming, the earth that is coming, it also is going, going to be different. And we cannot comprehend those things that was and is to come in my very strong opinion okay so let's continue here the eyes of that species of extinct giants who's that's this is error number three by the way because nothing has gone extinct not dinosaurs not giants not you know anything at all uh, be, if anything could go extinct then Noah preserved the animals the creatures in vain God told Noah to preserve these animals in vain and God would not do that 
and vain. There's a purpose to keep them around, and they're still around today. There are many, many variations, but every creature that was made in the beginning is still alive today. Guarantee it. The eyes of that species of giants whose bones fill the mounds of America. So this is interesting. You're going to see some pretty cool images in this video here. All right. And you've probably already seen them before. Have gazed. These giants have gazed on Niagara as ours do now, contemporary with the whole race of men, and older than the first man. Niagara is strong and fresh today, as thou as ten thousand years ago. So that's that's air number four. That goes back to what I think was the first air. You, you keep saying it doesn't make it true. Um, it can only um, the Earth can only be uh, six thousand years old, give or take. Oh, uh, you know. If you want to say, you get crazy, say 7,000 max, okay, fine. But not it's not possible for the Earth to be 10,000 years. You, it's not possible for Niagara to be here before the Earth was here. Not possible. The mammoth and the mastodon, now so long dead, that fragments of, this, of their monstrous bones alone testify that they ever lived, have gazed on Niagara, in that long, long time, never still for a single moment, never dried, never froze, never slept, never rested. What? Well, you can't say that. You, you know, unless he lived for thousands of years old, you can't say that with certainty. All right, so that's it. All right, so let's go to this video and count the errors in this video. All right, so it looks like I'm gonna have to do this. Yeah, again, I don't like TikTok. This is a quote from Abraham Lincoln on the Library of Congress website. Here it is. The eyes of that species of extinct giants. Wait, what extinct giants? Hmm. Whose bones fill the mounds of America? Wait, right, what? So let me just clarify because I think I missed this point. The giants are men all throughout the Bible. Giants are not extinct. Now you could argue men don't do not get as tall as they once did that's fine but giants are men you can't separate there are no giant men that are not men okay <laughs> unless you're living in fantasy land giants are men wait what mounds is that and men are not extinct that crazy? The, the Indian burial mounds that we find all over the place that we used to dig into and find giant remains um, have gazed on Niagara, Niagara Falls, as our eyes do now. Contemporary with the whole race of men. Wait a second. Hold the phone. Contemporary with the whole race of men. Does this mean that this was another race of beings, of giants, that used to be here, that gazed on Niagara Falls because found their remains in the Indian burial mounds. See, the interesting thing here is he's not talking about a race of giants. He's actually talking about how big and beautiful and amazing Niagara Falls was. Because just about 200 years ago, everyone knew that there was a race of giant... Yeah, so I know, I know he's, he, what he says is very interesting. Let me go back to this right here. In which last during sunshine there will be perpetual rainbows all right so this was this happened there was no rainbows before the flood the rainbow was made by god after the flood as a show of promise that he will no longer destroy the world by water all right let's go back to knuckles here and see what he says just about 200 years ago Everyone knew that there was a race of giant people that lived in America. And Abraham Lincoln was simply referring to that group of giant people because it was common knowledge. But you didn't learn about that in your school books, did you? No, I didn't. Even worse, I never learned the law of Moses in my school books. 
either. So, no, it's, uh, this, what he's talking about is very interesting about the mounds, that they have bones in them, because we see, you know, mounds like this throughout the, the Midwest. Uh, b wouldn't it be interesting to take a giant backhoe and just start digging the crap out of it? Well, uh, you know, maybe, maybe that's not possible. I don't know. But anyways, it is interesting. No question about it. And, um, you know, you see these, these sorts of mounds are, to dig into a fine giant oops, remains. hold on a second, um, to a stop, fine giant this is another reason why I hate TikTok, you can't control nothing, it's out of control. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with you, and to show, uh, to give my opinion at the very least, that uh, the idea that there's anything extinct is stupid. The idea that the Earth is older than 7,000 years is stupid, and that's just my my opinion. And I know I'm right, so I can use strong words. But um, hey, this thing with Lincoln, man, this guy—it's unbelievable that he was president for him to be this ignorant. Really. To suggest that the Niagara was there before Adam? How could you be that stupid? And then uh, and you're that stupid, and then you're president at the same time. I, I just wonder if did he even did he even write this? Is this some sort of rewriting history that's going on? Maybe he did write it. I don't know. I wasn't there. I don't care. Either way, it's wrong. So that's all I got. Thought I'd share that with you. Okay. Good day.